In this exercise, we're going to perform some simple edits on our component road. If I select my road, right click and select Show Roadside Grading, I can edit the grading on my roads. As you saw earlier, we selected a grading scheme of a 2 to 1 cut slope and a 4 to 1 fill slope. This worked very well until you take into account the grading limits of 45 feet. In this cut example, you can see that 45 feet doesn't exactly daylight to the surface as we would want it to. We have a couple of options. I can either make my cut slope steeper so that it intersects the surface uh, a little better, or I can change my grading limit. That means that I'm going to be going past my right of way uh, to grade out my road, but uh, in this particular situation, that's, that's an acceptable thing to do. So I'm going to change my grading limit out to 100 feet, and that should catch literally anything that I have along this road. Once I hit enter, you'll see that that vertical face on the right side of the road should disappear. And we wait for InfoWorks to think, and it does disappear, just as we wanted it to. Next, we're going to add some components to our roadway. And for this example, I'm going to add in a paved shoulder on both sides, just a portion of the way down this uh, uh, my fill area This at the bottom of the screen. So I get a message, select a component, hover over the road to select a seam, and then place the component. And you can see that there's a brown highlight that highlights the area where this is going to be placed. And once it's placed, there are some black grip boxes that are very prominently displayed. I don't think those should be displaying quite that large. But uh, if I select them, I can slide them just like any other grip and adjust the, the location. Let's zoom in on this and see if we can get a better view of it. Let's come in from the top down and, and we can see that a lot better now and it looks like it took my shoulder and put a transition in at either end which is not really the behavior that I would like so I can go in and select the grip and you can see that we can align the start of a component to something uh, or I can select where the component reaches full width and change the transition length to zero and that will get rid of my transition. I'll go directly to my paved shoulder at the location where it starts, which is the behavior that I would like to see. Now we can select the grip and stretch it along the road as we want. Just going to pick a spot over here and let go and it's going to recalculate. The edits that we made to the transitions are going to follow through. We're not going to have any more transitions up here. And you can see that we could replace the component, we can split the component. There are several things we can do to that component now that it's been placed. I'm going to add the same paved shoulder to the right side of my road. And I'm trying to pick and drag, but it looks like it doesn't really want to let me do that. So I'm going to do exactly what I did on the left side. I'm going to just drop it in. I'll remove the transitions manually and then stretch it to fit closely with the other side. 
I'll set that transition to zero. It doesn't look like it took you. Need to be very careful here when you're entering these numbers to actually hit the enter key before clicking outside so that the edit will actually be accepted. There we have our shoulder with no transitions. And just like I did on the other side, I can take it, grab that grip, and drag it to where it roughly matches the other side. Of course, if I were doing a serious design, I would be more careful in making sure my stations matched exactly. And now you can see that we have our paved shoulder on both the right and left sides of our highway. Next, we're going to add a right-of-way. Well, first, let's take a look at our cross-sections. You can see here, at uh, when I select the cross-section command, it displays the cross-sections. Uh, there at station 12, I can see we're in a full super-elevation. And it will show me as my super-elevation changes. It appears to be showing me uh, the cross sections at my horizontal geometry points. Here I can see my super elevation a lot better, and I can also display my cut and fill areas along my cross sections. As you can see there, that red is cut, green is fill. And as I was about to do earlier, I can right click and select Add Right of Way. And that will add a line, it's actually a road cover, or uh, land coverage, that depicts my right-of-way line. So you can see that it has a manual style or a rule style, and I can display the contours if I want. I'm not going to for this because my road really dictates my contours. I can change the manual style, I'll change that to a yellow line. And there we have a graphical depiction of our right-of-way that we can use later on.